Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up React on your Mac and we'll be using Node for this. If you want to know how to set it up on Windows or Linux, I'm going to have separate videos covering that, so feel free to check them out. Okay, so to do this, it's really simple. And first of all, we need to download a few things. So let's go ahead and download what we need to download. So one of the things we need to download is something called Homebrew. If you already have it, fantastic. If not, go to brew.sh. I'll provide a link in the description. Copy this little text here. You can either just select it by double clicking there, or you can press the copy button. And this is basically a package manager, and this allows you to easily install stuff. You can go ahead if you want to, and install node via this method you know go to the website download either the long-term support or the current version long-term but usually you know obviously will give you better support and you can go down this route if you've got installed fantastic you can skip this step if not i prefer package manager because you can do other stuff as well and if you learn about what else you can do with it what else you can install it's really really powerful so open up terminal and you can just search for it in here as well and just paste what you copied it'll ask you for your password and again i've just typed it in it won't actually show as even in masked form so don't worry about that click enter click enter again and for you guys it's gonna take longer than me if you have not installed it for the simple reason i already did it and made sure it was up to date because that takes a bit of time so just be patient once you've done that next you need to install node using homebrew to do that type in brew install space node again this is going to be very quick because i've already got it installed but although otherwise it you just have to wait a bit of time just be patient and obviously make sure your laptop if you're using a laptop is you know connected to the power source okay fantastic now what we can do is install a tool called create react app and this is well, a tool that allows you to create react applications to do that you use npm which is the node package manager so now we're using the node package manager to install this and install space g space dash g space create dash react dash app and press enter and if we get this error i wanted to, wanted to show you this just put the keyword sudo at the start sudo space you're asking for the password again this is just the password you use to log into your you know account on the mac press enter and that's it again yours is going to take a little bit longer just because you know you won't have already done it i have already done it but now we're all ready to go to actually create react applications so what i'm going to do this is optional but i'm going to cd to my desktop that's where i'm going to be creating it and to create them you go create dash react dash app and per space and now put your project name so there's a few little things you gotta bear in mind because i want to call it test you know project i can't put this it will give me an error and you'll see the error in a moment and it's because you can't have capital letters so if you want to separate you know it out and indicate that they're two different words you can put a dash for example press enter this can take a bit of time what we'll do is open up the find window and you'll see on the desktop I have a test project folder now and this is still underway right now there's only a package.json file but there's gonna be a lot more files and folders very very soon so it's, again it's just one of those things you just go do this once per project at the start So what I will do is I'll provide timestamps so you can easily skip it if you want to, but I like to show every single, you know, step. Okay, all good. And now what we need to do, I mean, the instructions are literally right here. And there's a few other instructions right here. You can use npm start to start the development server, which is what we'll be doing. You use npm run build to bundle the app into static files for production npm test 
you know, if you have any tests, you'll run the tests and run eject, you remove this tool and copies bundle dependencies, etc. Okay, so let's cd to our project, which is cd dash test dash project, or you could just, you know, drag it on over as well. And now if I list all the files in there, you see everything there. And now we can run it with the npm start command. There we go, it started running. There we go. So to access it locally, you just go to localhost colon 3000. So if I was to close this down, the server is still running. So if I was to copy that, it still works. And if you are on your network that this is running, but let's say you're on a different device, maybe a computer, great. If you want to test it on a mobile device, like a, you know, a phone or a tablet, you can just type in this. And it'll show you on your, you know, your phone, your tablet, another computer. Great for testing. So that's how you set up React on Mac. As you can see, it's really simple. So now you can end the video if you have your own preferred IDE. Otherwise, I recommend Visual Studio Code. So just download VS Code. And obviously, you want the Mac version. Go ahead, download that, install it. It's really simple to install. And then, if you open up Visual Studio Code. Click uh, open and go to desktop or wherever your project was created. Select this test dash project, click open and boom, there we go. Here's our project. So there's three folders. There's the public folder, which will contain stuff like the index HTML and any logos. There's the source folder, which will contain the CSS and the JavaScript files for our application. So there's already some test code here. Obviously, feel free to check out my other videos on just learning React in general to see you know, what all of this is about. And in the node module, you're going to get a lot of folders. This is just a bunch of different you know, frameworks and libraries that have got downloaded. So a little tip, if you want to distribute your application or you if you want to you know, upload it to a repository like GitHub, for example, recommend that you ignore the node modules folder. Why? Is because you can actually download all that again using an NPM command. I'll do that in a separate video. That'll be a interesting little tutorial. And but yeah, you can you know re-download all the modules. No point committing all of these. One, there's a lot of files that takes a lot of time. And two, you know, the project can, you know, it's 276 megabytes. And if we just compare that to the overall project size, that's 280. So it's literally added a huge amount of extra, you know, size onto our application. So that's it. That's how you set up React on your Mac using Node. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. In the description, there'll be a link to the Discord page. And on the Discord page, there's over 8,000 know, people in the community. Feel free to ask whatever you want. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and let me know what other you know, web development and React videos you would like to see next. And bye-bye.